Alrighty, and we're off. Heading up Mount Tetirua. Morning guys, starting out on the circle track here in Fiordland. Um, the goal for today is to get up onto Mount Tetira and uh, camp somewhere up there for the night. It is starting to clear a little bit, still a bit grey though, but yeah, hopefully be a nice day and uh, I'm really looking forward to the next however many days. When I told the water taxi guy that I was going up Mount Titiro and heading out for five days, he was a little bit worried. <laughs> he looked at my pack and was like, you don't have very much there. So I had to reassure him I've done things like this before. Made it to Hope Arm. Sun has come out. It's a pretty nice day. Hoping the low cloud clears. But yeah. Now I've just got to go find Hope Arm Hut for a quick snack. Yeah, this is a really cool area. Kind of reminds me of Stewart Island again. Definitely want to come back. Man, I love Fiordland. This is my first, well, this is going to be my first proper tramp in Fiordland. Um, I've wanted to come down here for so long, finally made, you know, making it happen, but yeah, epic country, now barely even started. It's not a hut. Quick stop at Hope Arm Hut, I uh, filled up my intentions in the book. And we're on the way to Garnock Burn. Uh, Doc reckons three and a half hours there. And I'll cross that. Hopefully it's not up too high from the rain we've had, but should be all good. And then from there we'll start climbing up Mount Tetiroa. Yeah. It's currently like one o'clock. Um, so I'm not expecting to take three and a half hours to get to the burn, but um, it is what it is, and uh, yeah, should have plenty of time. 
but gorgeous, absolutely stunning bush. Uh, really lush understory, heaps of crown ferns. I'm pretty sure most of the understory is crown ferns because the deer eat everything else, but they won't eat crown fern. So that's why most of the understory is just that. But yeah, awesome, awesome place. Nutella wrap for lunch. Cheers. So we've made it down to the Garnick Burn. There's a bit of low cloud hanging around the mountains. Um, so I'm really hoping it clears by the time I get up to Mount Tetera. But basically you've got to bash up the bush a wee bit. And uh, eventually we'll get up into the clearing and we'll get up onto the mountain. But yeah, i got to cross the Garnick first. I haven't actually gone to check it out yet. Probably on the higher side, but I don't think it'll be too bad. But yeah, I'm just chilling out here for a little bit, uh, having to tell a wrap. Um, I didn't film a lot on that last section, but man, there was a lot of windfall and blowdown on that bit of the track. Um, there was a lot of a lot of going around, up and over, <laughs> trees and everything. But it was a fun time. It was a fun time. Um, it only took me an hour and a half from Hope Arm to here, so really happy with the time and uh, yeah, it's currently 2.30 so having a bit of a break and we'll uh, get on to the climb up to Mount Tetero. Alrighty, I've crossed the Garnet Burn. From here it's just a steep climb up through the beech forest. Um, there's no more track anymore, we're just making our own way. Uh, yeah, so just going to be bashing through the beach for us, climbing up to Mount Tetero. Should be good fun. Really hoping that low cloud burns off, but we shall see. If it doesn't, oh well. There's a Kia. It's quite funny, I haven't seen them in the bush before. Hey mate. We have a friend. It's time to keep climbing though. Hi Mr. Kia. Oh. Yeah. following me. Hey bud, how's it going? Alrighty, well, that was an experience. Still climbing up through the bush, but got a, oh mate, you can see the lake. Got a wee bit bluffed out by some 
huge ass rocks. I was almost bloody rock climbing. <coughs> the ultras aren't quite designed for that. Ah, oh, that was fun though, but man, it was a little bit nerve wracking a couple of moments, um, especially with how slippery the underfloor is. <coughs> We'll get a better view of it soon. Still clambering up through the bush. But yeah, <coughs> that was an interesting, interesting experience. Um, the bush is fine, like it's not really thick. But uh, yeah, I did manage to get a little bit bluffed out there. <sighs> All right, we're up in the cloud now. I don't think it's supposed to rain, but yeah, we might just have low cloud, which is a bummer. I'm almost out of the bush. I've actually found a really good campsite just in here um, and that will be a little bit more sheltered just in case like wind picks up or might even shelter me from this cloud a little bit better um, but I'm basically pretty sure I'm almost at a pretty sure I'm almost out of the bush here it's definitely getting thinner um, and the trees aren't growing as high so kind of just following these game trails but yeah we can't see anything Absolutely nothing. I'm gonna see if I can pop out the bush here, see what's what. Otherwise, I'm gonna come back to that camp spot and we'll stay there for the night. And uh, hopefully, the weather will clear for the morning so I can at least get some views when I'm climbing over Mount Tatira. But is what it is. Well, you can just see the lake down there. Apart from that, can't really see a whole lot. Sun's burnt away a bit of the cloud. You can see a little bit more. Got the tarp shelter set up. I'll talk about it a bit more later, but basically I made my own ultralight tarp. So this is its first outing. I haven't uh, properly even pitched it yet. So this is kind of its first pitch. Um, not the perfect area for it, but it's not bad. Yeah. Um, I'll talk a bit more about it later, but yeah. New tarp. It's cleared up a wee bit. Tatira is still in the clouds there.
While we're waiting on dinner, I'll give you a quick rundown of my ultralight tarp. So it's made from 7 denier ripstop nylon 6.6. Um, it's got a silicon coating on both sides and I've used Hyper D300 for reinforcing the tire points and um, some cross grain for the, well, for the tire points. Currently got it set up with two trekking poles and I've got two mil cord for the guy lines. Um, I do have more guy lines. I've got it set up real low tonight. I think depending on where the next setup, I'm going to set it up with the other guys so it sits a bit higher in the air. But yeah, good to try out all the setups. It'll mostly be set up in an A-frame and uh, yeah, that's kind of its intended purpose. The dimensions are 2.6 by 2 meters. The tarp itself weighs 176 grams and then 64 grams for, the, for 8 pegs and another 14 grams or something for the guy lines. Real lightweight, super happy with it. Like I said before, this is its first setup, so we'll see how it goes, and I'm hoping to test it in some uh, bit harsher weather as well. Seems to be holding up so far. I wouldn't look too closely at the stitching. Still nylon's hard to sew, and I'm not exactly the best sewer. It was a real fun project though, and uh, I'm looking forward to using it a bit more. Yeah, that's the top. Time for dinner. Real meals beef stroganoff for tonight. Oh, it smells good. Cheers. Not a bad spot for dinner. Morning guys, I slept in, didn't mean to, I gotta get up, <laughs> almost 8 o'clock, I slept really well though, that was a great night's sleep, oh. alright, let's get up and get at him. Alrighty, and we're off. Heading up Mount Titiroa. The sun's gone away behind the clouds again. And uh, it had kind of cleared up there, but it is starting to cloud over again. Which is a bit of a bugger, but I got a bit of a climb first, so hopefully it clears. Hopefully. But yeah, it's pretty chilly. Um, there's some snow up there. That came in the last few days with the rain. This is a really cool area. The rock formations on Mount Tetero are sick as. From a distance, it tends to look like it's always covered in snow, just because of the white, sandy gravel that covers it. I mean, right now, there is a little bit of slush on the ground, but 
yeah, from a distance it can sometimes look like it's covered in snow, which is pretty cool. Um, but yeah, it's a pretty sick landscape. Haven't really been anything like it before. So uh, yeah, it's really cool. And you get an epic view as well. I mean, look at that. Lake Manapori. Looks pretty sick. Yeah man, loving this. Sun's just come out as well. Whew, yes. That's what we like to see. I'm pretty sure that's Mount Tetero right there. We're just gonna make our way up there. I really feel like I should probably have some micro spikes up here, at least, but hey, we're getting there. We're almost at the top, I think, unless this is a full summit, which it probably is, let's be honest. Um, but yeah, it's actually getting pretty steep, and I'm kind of just post-holing my way up. I can crunch through the snow with my trail runners and kind of make a step. So that's basically what we're doing. Um, yeah, there's lots of exposed rocks, so I can like stand stand here where I am, but be interesting on the other side. Yeah, good fun though, having a great time. This is epic country. <sighs> Loving it. There's the top. Some low cloud rolling in. Don't think I'm gonna beat it to the top. Slowly but surely we're getting there. Really cool ice on the rocks. That looks really cool. The summit is literally right there. And we've got this wall of cloud rolling in. Alrighty, well, made it to the top of Mount Tatira. <clears throat> covered in ice um, <laughs> it was a fun mission getting up here and this giant wall of cloud is now rolling in so I might try to drop down a little bit and then I'm going to stop for maybe an early lunch but yeah I actually just spotted a waratah up here Let's go take a look at that, but mate, this is pretty cool. Yeah, so I'm guessing this is actually the high point here. Pretty sick. Yeah, we can't see much now, but there's Lake Manapori. That wall is cloud is rolling in. That's where we came from, and we've come sidled around the side here, and now we're heading down there. That's the Ballin River you can see at the bottom there. The sun's kind of burning through the cloud. It's not too bad right where I am, but the views around are still pretty clouded out. But I'm going to carefully make my way down here, see what the go is. Yeah.
we're making progress. Making our way down slowly but surely. So I'm going to make my way down up to that point there and we're going to drop down the other side push bash down to the ball and river and then we'll get to the track Alrighty, I'm here at point 1159 from here we're going to saddle around here for a wee bit and eventually drop down to the bush bush bash down to the North Ballin River um, and that should take us pretty much out to uh, Ballin Hut. Alrighty, well I'm pretty sure I found Ball and Hut. That little dot right there on the other side of the river. Pretty sure that's where we're heading. We're gonna keep sidling along here for a bit and then drop down through the bush. making my way along the boggy marshland here and uh, I can see North Borland Hut right in front of me Whew, that was a decent bush bash a couple of choice words were mentioned um, but it was good it was good yeah no fun time um, I don't know what the time is I haven't checked but yeah basically North Borland um, it's only kind of the afternoon so I think I am gonna push on but Gonna have a wee decent break here. Oh. And try not to break my ankle in, in the bog. Yeah. Cool. Oh, that feels so nice on the feet <laughs> and legs. Cool little biv. Mean fireplace. That is sick. It's another Meccano hut. Reminds me of Commons in like the Hakatiri maybe on TA. Is that the area? Commons hut, the Meccano one. Right after A frame A frame hut. A frame hut. Um, Turton Saddle, Clint, Clint Hill, Clint Saddle. Between there. That one. Yeah. Anyway, that's what it reminds me of because it's the same construction. Stick around guys, you'll learn things. Yeah, now nah, cool hut. On my way again, left North Borland hut and I'm heading to the rock biv. 
I don't know if I'll get there tonight or if I'll camp there or if I'll camp before it or after it or I don't know. Um, I'll figure that out as I'm hiking I suppose. I'll just see how I feel. But yeah, doing pretty well. It's uh, about 3.30. to the rock above. Pretty sick. Bedding's all set up. I'm gonna go grab some water and then we can get started on dinner. Alrighty, it's dinner time. I've got Real Meals Tom Card Guy for dinner. Um, I've had this once before, had on Stewart Island actually. Uh, yeah, I remember it being pretty good, so we'll see how it goes. Cheers, guys. It's hot. Ooh. Tastes good though. This rock above is so cool as well. Um, so yeah, left North Ballin Hut and uh, made it here. So we're close to the road end. I'm basically hiking out to the road end tomorrow. And then like literally across the road is the track up to um, Aldred Peak. I'm glad I brought my bug net. I'm just trying to lie in my sleeping bag and these sand flies are insane. There is a lot of, a lot of them around. Good thing the only exposed thing is my hands. But yeah, this bug is coming in quite handy. Hopefully they'll go away soon when it gets dark. Morning guys, it's about quarter to eight. The footage is probably really grainy, but it's just starting to get light here in the bush. Um, just left the rock biv and uh, yeah, we're on the track heading out to the road and then from there we'll be heading across and going up Edral Aldrig Peak. Um, it's looking like a nice day so far from what I can see through the trees. Yeah, I had a really good sleep as well. Sleep quite nicely under the rock biv. It was a nice night. Although the sand flies were pretty nuts, but I've left just as they were starting to come out this morning, so good timing. Uh, yeah, I got my breakfast on the go, good old bar, and uh, yeah.
Alrighty, out on the road now. Just got a short walk down to the start of the Aldrick Peak track. And uh, yeah, from there it's pretty steep. Climbing up to Aldrick Peak. That's it up over there. Yeah, making pretty good progress, I think. Um, looks like a pretty nice day, but there are some clouds in the sky. Yeah, that's about all i got to say. I'm going to keep climbing. Pretty much out of the bush line now. I think it's gonna get a bit breezier when we get up there. But yeah, heading up there. Where are we going? Up here. Yeah, nice and steep. A wee bit boggy in some bits, but it doesn't bother me. Yeah, doing good. That wind is icy. Man, I'm tired. It's taking a lot out of me. Been going hard the past couple of days. I'm actually feeling it quite a bit. But going slow. Steadily, hopefully. Oh. Yeah. Whew. Should I keep pushing on? On top of Aldrick. It's pretty epic, but it's cold. The wind is chilly, man. Oh my god. Woo! Alright, so it turns out I'm not even on Aldrick Peak. Aldrick Peak's actually this one here. So I thought I was on top. Turns out I'm not even close. I've chucked my rain jacket on because that wind is real chilly. We're gonna get going. That there is Mount Titidama. That's where I was yesterday. Almost there. Well guys, made it to the top of the Aldrick Peak. Whew. It's epic up here. Man, that was a that was a scramble and a half. Oh didn't film much of it. I was too busy constrained on not falling off the side of the mountain. So yeah, but it's cool views. It's pretty epic. No idea if I'm gonna make my way over to Mount Burns or not. Don't know if I've got it in me, we'll see. The other option is to follow this ridge down here. I can take that all the way back down either to these tarns or back down to the track. <coughs> uh, I'm not sure yet. I'm gonna sit up here and think on it for a little bit. But yeah, pretty epic. That's where we've come from. We've made our way all the way along here. Up to here. So I decided to descend off the ridge from Aldrick Peak um, and follow it back down to the Tarns. 
I didn't think I'd have enough time heading across to Mount Burns, especially with the wind whipping across there. So I might try to attempt it in the morning. Oh god. Currently got my tarp pitched up down here at the Tarns. Tried to get it in a sheltered location as possible. But we are getting some pretty meaty wind gusts. Wind gusts at times. Um, it's holding up so far though. So I've just been chilling here. I got here about 3 o'clock. Or just after and I've just been lying in my sleeping bag basically um, I'm expecting rain at some point so that's probably gonna happen um, yeah the up uh, the options were either try to get across Mount Burns but then I was gonna have to drop all the way down to Green Lake um, camp here or I could have made my way down to the road but then I would have had to completely bail the trip so uh, decided to try spend the night up here and we'll see what it's like in the morning but hopefully the shelter holds it's doing well so far and we've had some pretty good gusts so we shall see Mexican chili for dinner. Yum. Well, it's starting to rain a bit. I'm gonna go to bed, try to get some sleep. I'll see you guys in the morning. Hey guys, it's like 7.30 in the morning. Tarp's held up pretty well. Hasn't leaked and it's held up to the wind. But the rain is kind of unrelenting. Hasn't stopped. Um, and I honestly don't think it's going to be safe or practical to even try cross Mount Burns. So I think I'm going to be packing up and heading back down to the road. Bit of a bugger, but... I'm going to wait a little bit longer, see if anything's happening, but I honestly don't think this is clearing anytime soon. Alrighty guys, starting to get packed up now. This weather's not clearing, so I think we're going to bail. Bit of a bugger, but hey, that's what happens. Can't control the weather. Alrighty guys, we're all packed up. I'm gonna head out. I'm just gonna start dropping down the Aldrich track that I took up yesterday. Bit of a bugger to be heading out, but it's just with the condition of the weather and how wet it's gonna be up there. Um, I don't feel safe crossing over to Mount Burns. Um, it is supposed to be even sketchier than the scramble over Aldrich there, so yeah, just with the wet rocks and uh, wind and everything, just I don't think it's gonna be safe, so. I did go down and have a look yesterday. I scrambled down the ridge a little bit, um, and uh, yeah, just with it being so wet, just not going to try. But yeah, time to head out. Alrighty, hey guys, currently heading down the access road from the Aldred Peak track, heading down to Ballin Road. From there I'm going to try hitch back to Mother Porty, 
where my car is. Um, basically, yeah, calling this trip done. It's been a really fun time. Um, the weather is actually looking all right now. It is a bit claggy at times, but the sun is out and there is some blue sky. But we have dropped down quite a bit, so it's hard to say what it's like up on the tops. And uh, overall, I'm pretty bloody tired, so um, I'm happy with my decision. I'll come back and give it a crack another day. Um, but yeah, still had a really fun time here in Fjordland. It's been a great four days or three, three nights. Um, yeah, last night was a really good test for my tarp as well. I'm happy it held up well. Uh, but yeah, I'm actually really <laughs> quite tired, feeling it in my legs a bit. Um, and uh, yeah. But hey, it was a great time regardless. Mounted Tito was epic. It was a good amount of bush bash and had a great time on the off track stuff. Um, it's really epic down here. And I'll definitely be coming back for more. Well, I've got just over two and a half k's to go to the main road. Turns out nobody really wants to pick you up on a dead end gravel road, and there's not much traffic anyway. So I'm not quite sure of the distance, I'll check when I get to the end. But yeah, it's been a long road walk, a couple of hours at least. Um, but yeah, almost to the main road, just over two and a half k's to go, and then hopefully I can hitch a ride to Motherporty because I'm not walking all the way back. But yeah, feeling a bit tired. Hey guys, so a bit of an update. Uh, yesterday I ended up doing the 15k road walk from the bottom of Aldrich Peak route out to the main road to Manaporti. Um And then I managed to get a ride eventually uh, to Manaporti to get my car. Um, so that was a really fun trip.